Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my very fancy looking wife, Laura. I'm here with my Messina husband, Nathan. And we're here for ooh, two out of the three new drumstick flavours. Yeah, uh, so Peter's drumstick, and they've gone with uh, it's gelato Messina. Um, I'm pretty sure they started in Sydney. They were actually a gelateria. <laughs> um, I'll agree with Laura. Yep, um, they've expanded, obviously, a great deal <laughs> since then. Um, they've had Tim Tam flavours. Yes, they've and... had many, many Tim Tam flavours, and some of them good, some of them not so good. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot more stores than just Sydney these days, but it's not something I've been to, so um, let us know if you've been. So these are two out of three flavours. I think the, fir the third flavour wasn't particularly interesting. To us, anyway. Was to it us. maybe a hazelnut or a chocolate nut or something? Yeah. Um, I can't quite remember. But these were the two we wanted to try out. So if yeah. you've tried the third one, let us know. Um, check the links down below. We have a Facebook and Instagram page before I forget. Is there a problem? <laughs> yeah, Instagram, Facebook, you know, updates, sneak peeks, all that fun stuff. Woo! All right, so we have the Dolce de Leche. Sorry if I've mispronounced that. <laughs> and we have the Mango and Saltad Coconut. Well, shall we start there with that do one? Do they say anything? Oh, they do, actually. They say, when drumstick and gelato... Gelato Messina you come together with a joint passion to reimagine the classic cone, something special happens. Classic reimagined. Yeah, well, with the Tim Tams, that didn't exactly happen. <laughs> Some of them were really nice. The um, Choc Mint yeah. ones, I loved those. They were so good. Um, these are obviously in very, very different boxes to the normal drumsticks. Much more, you know, high-end sort of look to them, I they guess. They are expensive too at full price. I yeah, they were 10 I think, for four, so pretty it pricey. It smells like... Looks pretty. It smells like plastic coconut, just initially. Plastic yes, coconut? smell it. Like okay. rubber or plastic and coconut. Really? No, I get, I get coconut and kind of a fake mango. Mm. That sort of over-sweetened mango, if that makes sense. Um, the lid, by the way, has um, quite a lot of information on there about what it contains. It's so... um, gelato. It's an ice cream. Well, yes. <laughs> I was expecting like, ice cream and then like, the flavours, not the actual whole thing to be... Oh, I just realised this has there's actually four flavours, not three. Uh, vanilla bean and peanut praline and roasted hazelnut. I don't remember seeing the vanilla bean one, but I, I remember either. the roasted hazelnut. That's the one we were so. thinking of. I would have got the vanilla bean and praline. Peanut praline, yeah, mm. that sounds nice. Oh, you want to take a bite? Sure. The closest mm. approximation I would have is that it tastes like a Weiss bar or Weiss bar. Mmm. I get that. So they, they sell like, it's like a, a vanilla and then the one side is a like fruit. Yeah. And it tastes very similar to that. What about the cone? I wish, sort of, I don't really know how we'd get down. It looks like a standard sort of waffle cone. Oh. <laughs> I see. Whoopsie. Uh oh. That's going to melt everywhere at the bottom. What's the cone like? Hmm, it's a nice waffle cone. That tastes fairly standard to me. Hmm. It's presumably just the filling no longer being ice cream that has changed rather than but overall, the cone itself. It's not too bad. Very coconutty. Um, it is. It is heavy on the coconut, which is not for my liking. You get a nice mango flavour, but as Laura said, it's not quite as real as... Yeah, yeah. it's not like fresh mango on the no. top, which I mean, obviously, you know, I understand that. Um... <clears throat> I don't know. I prefer ice cream, I think. The, the creaminess with the cone, I think, goes better than the gelato. perhaps the gelato sort of goes well. Don't get me wrong, like, it is quite nice, like gelato, but I think you're right. I think the drumstick needs to have that ice creaminess. The creaminess, yeah. It's got white, a compound white chocolate. That's probably what was in the cone down the bottom, which is why I felt, well, it felt creamy. They actually do that with all of them, hmm. don't they? Yeah. Um, same That's interesting. packaging for our... I'm going to say it again, and I'm sorry if I've got it wrong. Dunk de Leche. Dolce, Dolce de Leche. Which is I, uh, some sort of caramel sauce, I believe, from somewhere, perhaps Brazil? Oh, you believe from somewhere? Mm. Maybe. Possibly Brazil? Come on. Come I'm, on. Look, I'm not, not sure. Does it say... No, but this one does say... Biscuit pieces. With the trademark sauce with creamy ice cream with chocolate-coated biscuit That's pieces. interesting. So what did that one say? You're not looking? I guess I'll look. No, it didn't say... Yes, oh, so that yes. Says, Sorbet. Did you read the wrong side? I did. I read the uh, general... Oh, no. I didn't realise they were different. Hang on. So the side says, 
Kensington Pride Mango Sorbet entwined with a salted coconut sorbet topped with mango sauce and toasted coconut flakes. Okay, that makes right. a bit more sense Okay, then. and then yeah, so that one is, this one's ice cream. Okay, now we're catching up on things. All right, that's looking more like a drumstick to me. Yeah, and more like very a traditional. Caramely. Ooh, lots of caramel. Yep, everywhere. Hmm, it doesn't smell like that much, to be honest. You have a smell. Caramel's nice though. Yeah, I don't really get any smell from it, which is a little odd. Should I try some since I've got it in my hand now? Have a taste. I still can't believe we missed the, <laughs> the description. Alright. Hmm. That's quite a nice flavour. Hmm. How do I describe it? It's nice. It's like having a milkshake, but with good quality like chocolate in it. And obviously much thicker. Yeah. Hmm. Really, really nice. It's smooth and it all goes together really nicely. The, the caramel's really tasty. It's not too sweet. It's really nice creamy ice cream, nice chocolate. You want to bite the bottom to see if there's anything else different? Well, I imagine it'll be milk chocolate. Did you I would say assume. coney cone? Mm-hmm. Looks so, like milk so chocolate So I had to white me. chocolate in mine. You got uh, mm -hmm. chocolate chocolate in yours regular? Chocolate chocolate. Hmm. Look. Yeah, it's really nice, that one. I think it's probably obvious. I like this one much better. It's ice cream, so it's a bit closer to, the, to like a normal drumstick, and I think that goes better with the cone, personally, but... I actually think that, that flavour is really smooth and goes so well with it. Yeah, rich, creamy, but not too sweet. Mm -mm -mm. I really want to try the vanilla bean one if we can find it. Yeah, um, we probably would have had that one if um, we'd known it existed, but for some reason... Mm -hmm. Uh, no! <laughs> the camera also doesn't like these at all, so <laughs> forgive us if it's a bit blurry. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know down below if you've spotted the other two flavours or perhaps tried these two. Hit that subscribe button and check back tomorrow. We have a video every single day. Food is Monday and Wednesday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.